sawa, strive to serve with zigzag and diamond repeat patterns made from bamboo fibers. Head scarf, yakan piece, geometric intricate wave worn to cover the hair on a daily basis. Apron, sipo, tangan, tid has many different designs but in the most time consuming and decorative weave of the symbic. <clears throat> Yakan visual arts includes Yakan kitchen utensils and household implements. Metalware includes the talam, a beautifully decorate, decorate, decorated bronze tray and a sandok or ladal used for special occasions. Yakan Bake Chai is a both colorful and fun functional. Time the to top is a food cover made of bamboo leaves. Mandia tribes primarily originate from the region of Dabao Oriental, found predominantly in Mati, Katiil, and Bagangas areas. Their names Mandaya denotes the first people upstream, derived from Man means first, and Daya means upstream or upper portion of a river. Mandayas are often named as people from the uplands since Dabao Oriental possess mountainous ranges. Their traditional costumes is called dagmai. It is made of abaca fibers, beads, and many more. Especially their wallets, bangles, and ladies' purses are all abaca inspired. Their costume motifs were characterized by black design, line patterns, rickracks, scrolls, curvilinear motifs, and diamond crosses sometimes incorporating crocodile motifs done at various levels of abstraction. Jewelry is used as a measure of one's socio-economic status among Mandaya women. The Bagobo constitute one of the largest group among indigenous peoples in southern Mindanao. The uplands Bagobo live in the very mountainous region between the Upper Pulangi and Davao Rivers and Mindanao in the Philippines, whereas the coastal Bagobo once lived in the hills south and east of Mount Apo. The Bagobo call their ceremonial dress Umpak. The Bagobo are considered the most colorful people of the Philippines, heavily embroidering their abaca clothing with beads and stitch work. They also produce fine metal craft, working in brass, bronze, and iron, and are known for their battle boxes. The Bagobo textiles focus on deeper reds, maroons, dark browns, and black for their color tone, as well as large expenses of tie-dyed pattern name after the name of threads used in the belt of the clothes. the Lumad have nurtured and protected their traditional ancestral lands and their individual cultures. Lumad culture is rich and diverse with a wide range of languages, chants, rituals, dances, and other traditions. The Lumad are a group of Austronesian indigenous people in the southern Philippines. It is a Cebuana term meaning native or indigenous. Islamic art encompasses the visual arts produced since the 7th century common era by people who live within territories inhabited. Referring to the characteristic traditions across a wide range of lands, periods, and genres. Islamic art is a concept used first by Western art historians since the late 19th century. 
Public Islamic art is traditionally non-representational except for the widespread use of plant forms, usually in varieties of the spiraling arabesque. Islamic art is not art of a specific religion, time, place, or of a single medium. Instead, it spans some 1,400 years, covers many lands and populations, and includes a range of artistic fields including architecture, calligraphy, painting, glass, ceramics, and textiles, among others. How is Islamic art defined? The term Islamic art not only describes the art created specifically in the service of the Muslim faith, for example, a mosque and its furnishings, but also characterizes art and architecture historically produced in the lands ruled by Muslims, produced for Muslim patrons, or created by Muslim artists, where predominantly Arab, Byzantine, Persian, and Levantine. Islamic culture and Muslim culture refer to cultural practices which are common to historical Islamic people. The early forms of Muslim culture, from the Rashidun Caliphate to early Umayyad period and the early Abbasid period. What is an example of Islamic culture? For example, Muslims believe in the oneness of God, the Holy Scriptures, and all prophets from Adam to Muhammad without discrimination, the Day of Judgment, etc. Muslims believe Islam is the continuation and culmination of Judaism and Christianity. Muslims are required to pray five times a day. Islam has five pillars. The first is profession of faith or shahada, the belief that there is no God but God, and Muhammad is the messenger of God, is central to Islam. This phrase, written in Arabic, is often prominently featured in architecture and a range of objects, including the Quran. Islam's holy book of divine revelations. One becomes a Muslim by reciting this phrase with conviction of the opening chapter of the Quran and is sometimes performed in a small rag or mat used. The third pillar is alms or zakat. In accordance with Islamic law, Muslims donate a fixed portion of their income to community members in need. Many rulers and wealthy Muslims build mosques, drinking fountains, hospital, schools, and other institutions both as a religious duty and to secure the blessings associated with their charity. The fourth pillar is fasting or psalm. During the daylight hours of Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, all healthy adult Muslims are required to abstain from food and drink. The fifth pillar is pilgrimage or hajj. Every Muslim whose health and finances permit it must make at least one visit to the holy city of Mecca in present-day Saudi Arabia. The Kab'a, a cubicle structure covered in black embroidered hangings, is at the center of the Haran Mosque in Mecca. It is named after a belief in one God, Allah, and a submission to His will. What is unique about Islamic culture? Islam is unlike any other religion because it is not merely a belief to which one adheres, but rather Islam is a complete way of life. Muslims put their beliefs into practice on a daily basis.